Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So it's been a while since I fished last. I say a while. Uh, it's actually been two weeks since I fished last, which was with Jedi Carper down at Koken. Um Not very good at all on my part. Um, three three days in of a five day session, um, I'd had nothing out. Basically, really, really sort of down. Um, so I packed up and come up, come home early. Um, obviously, if you head over to Jedi's channel, you can check out. How well he done. He had a few fish out and um, Lee next to him. And I think Alex, who was opposite me, managed to nick one out. But like I say, even Alex, the, the end of the lake that we had, um, one fish in five days is not great. And I'll be honest, I wasn't prepared to sit there for another two, two and a half days on the off chance of catching a fish when I hadn't caught anything in three, three and a half days. So, yeah, you join me here today down at the Islands Fishery, just outside of Mere, Gillingham in Wiltshire. Um, fished here quite a bit. I've done, is it one or two vlogs from here? I think it's just, I don't know, actually, one vlog from here with Jamie. Um, that was when I was in peg nine and Jamie was in peg ten. Um, I'm in peg two this time. I did fish this lake middle of last year um on a quick well say quick there's nothing quick about a 24 hour but a 24 hour session and we managed to nick one out which was 21 pound um i'll put a picture up now um that was a really really nice conditioned fish so there are some really stunning fish in here um what i do i'll put put a couple of other fish in now that i've caught from here as you can see this one this mirror is absolutely stunning um i think this one was about I think this was £22, this one. And then the other fish you're about to see now, this was one called Big Ben. This was 28.5, 28 this one. I had this one out. Now, this was just after spawning, a couple of weeks after spawning. And this fish is normally £30, £30 plus. So, yeah, I was unfortunate not to get it at £30, but more than happy taking it at, at you know, upper 20 anyway. So, um, you can see the stamp of the fish in here. Um, so hopefully we can hook into one or two. I have been up to the peg, which I'm fishing, and spoke to the, the lads that are in there. They're just packing down now. I'm, I'm just sort of sat in the van now, leaving them to it. Um, they've, they've had nothing out. I think they've been here since Friday night. Um, it's now Sunday afternoon, or Sunday mid-afternoon. Mid um, and yeah um it's raining now they said it was really hot yesterday which may have backed the fish off so hopefully this this sort of you know this lower pressure this this rain that's coming in will sort of um you know bring the fish on a bit so i'm going with my normal particle approach that i fished here last time um and i'm going to fish a little corn stack over the top of that on one of them and then i'll probably just bung up a couple of um bung on sorry a couple of pop-ups on the other two rods um and then just you know see what fish is well um you know with the possibility of switching the other rods over you know to the same bait so yeah we've got 24 hours um you know more likely to catch them here than i am sat at home so what i do i'll um i'll do a little video now of you know the the rigs and the baits and the the bait bait and approach i'm going to be using and the little mix i got um so just while we're waiting for those guys to um remove their kit as said this is the the approach that i'll be going with so we've got in here some carbon baits co2 mix so as you can see in here there's hemp maize all sorts buckwheat i think there's in there all sorts of seed and attraction um what i'll do i'll add me chosen boilies into this um i don't like to add them now i basically just put them in you know in 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 the spawn um or the bait boat as and when i'm fishing them um because i feel that if i start adding boilies into this and then if i don't use this up obviously this is shelf life this is what comes in the power jars um the boilies you know they can then take on too much of the liquid and 
and, and, and maybe turn so um and then like i say depending on what lake i'm fishing um i will use sort of different boilies um so yeah that's basically it um i will fish a little corn stack rig over this which is great um what i'll do i'll go and get that rig out my rig wallet now and i will show you that so this is the little ronnie rig i will be fishing as you can see i've just got a little double stack of corn there we've got the aptus tackle wide gape barbed as per fishery rules and then we've got the gemini tidy boom with the, the little sinker on it there to counterweight so as you can see when that is fished over that mix that is absolutely cock on that's what done me a bite here last time so that's what we're going with definitely on one of the rods um yeah it will literally just sit there like that even to the extent it, it literally is so it doesn't pop up like a ronnie rig up like that it's, it's more of like a claw if not sort of like just wafting around like this so you know as soon as a fish comes in and starts sucking up the particle then hopefully that's going to lift up you've got the little counterweight there of that sinker um and then you know hopefully that should nail us a cart but yeah right guys let's carry on also on another note um this will be my last vlog using what i have left of the e-tang baits um i have moved over to bait guru now so um if you haven't checked them out they've got a, a brilliant youtube channel bait guru um and obviously head on over to their website as well um the the link will be in my bio of my my page so yeah looking really forward to getting my hands on some of their range um they do a wicked one called the salamino which a lot of the guys from um carbon baits also use um bait guru and you know i've seen the salamino has been catching a few fish i'm not gonna you know go into too much detail about it now we'll do that on a on on you know on another vlog when i'm actually using the bait unfortunately i did order some bait but it's not turned up in time because of the bank holiday weekend and and various other courier issues i believe the guys at bait guru are changing um courier companies now um to a slightly more reliable one because they say they have had a few issues in the past of you know bait being late or not turning up which is obviously no fault of theirs we all know what um courier companies deliveries um could be like in this day and age so um yeah right less of the waffling on uh i'm going to start walking some kit up now as these guys seem to be walking their kit back and um yeah we'll take it from there so hopefully see you guys soon with a, a fish on the bank if not then we you know we do a little bit of filming and a little bit of chit chatting um also yeah really appreciate if you guys can give my channel a sub if you don't follow me already um give this video a like and a thumbs up um and any comments yeah if there's anything you guys want to see anything you don't want to see then yeah i'm open to suggestions at the end of the day you guys out there are the ones that watch it um like i've said if if you've seen any of my videos before um it's just me documenting you know my fishing and just doing what i enjoy really um you know i you know take take from these videos you know what you will if if you don't like them then that's fine it each their own if you do then yeah any positive comments and feedback would be greatly appreciated so um right guys speak to you soon there you go chaps make sure if there is facilities to dip your nets then do so it's obviously there for a reason so there's no excuse not to do it so not only do i dip my my actual landing net I dip my retainer and my unhooking mat as well and even my bucket that I use to pull the lake water out so no risk of anything being transmitted from one lake to the other so better to be safe than sorry um, let's start getting some kit in so I shall be attaching my rigs to these leaders that I use so that I've constructed these using the Nash Klingon leader in 40 pound it's a supple fast sinking leader as it says there and I like to do that in roughly about a meter sort of three foot to a meter um, I then obviously with my loop on my main line um, I then just loop to loop that onto the leader 
Um, the reason I do this is because different venues, I fish sort of different techniques. So if I'm fishing a solid bag, I don't like to go through the whole hassle of tying a solid bag on every time I want to cast it out. So by using a loop on the end of your main line, which is big enough to get a solid bag in, I can then obviously, you know, chop and change without having to cut and tie line on, you know, the various different sort of types of leader or, you know, rigs I'm using. So like I say, this one's constructed using, the, you know, the material there. It's a metre long. I've got the Calder hybrid lead clips there, which have got obviously a quick change swivel on. And then I've just got the, the three and a half pound lead there. Obviously the rig I showed you earlier, the little corn stack rig, I'm going to attach that one on there now. We're going to get that one out and we're going to get that one fishing. Um, what I do, I run through the other sort of um, hook baits I'm using on, on the other two rods. Um, I'm just going to spin the camera now and I will show you which, ven which sort of areas I'm going to fish. So this is my swim here. We are in at swim number two, which is Millard's. So I've got obviously all of this margin down here. I've got from this point to that point. I've got all the way across there. I've got halfway up this channel where this overhanging tree is. So you can see the guy over the other side. And then I've got basically this down. So if, if you haven't seen the island sort of fishery before, um, it is basically, uh, uh, I'll put a little aerial view of it up now. And as you can see, every sort of peg has its own sort of area. That, and unless you're casting stupidly up through the channels or, you know, through each sort of side, then, you know, there's no chance of you interfering with anyone's water. Um, Obviously, the good sort of points to fish are, you know, the inlets from, from each sort of peg to the other. Um, and, and like I say, I, I will probably be fishing one in, in that bay straight in front of me. I'll be fishing one up through that channel. And where we had the fish last time was right on the sort of end of this island here, just where the sort of trees are starting to overhang now. Um, yeah, so we'll get one right in. That's going to be the first one I put out. That one over, right, right in under there. Um, that'll be the first one we get out. Second one, I'll probably just work my way from right to left then. So we'll we're, we're put it up through the channel. Um, I have sort of been keeping my eyes peeled for um, if there's any signs or any shows, but it's a bit difficult with the rain hitting the water at the moment. But we, we will keep looking. The, the rain seems to be dying off a little bit now anyway. So, you know, hopefully um, I'm not going to get too wet getting these rods out. I want to get, get them out pretty sharpish because... Um, it's fast approaching two o'clock and we got Chelsea playing Everton. So hopefully I've got enough 3G, 4G, 5G, whichever it, it sort of pings on. Um, so I can sit down and watch it on the old um, Sky Sports Go app. So um, hopefully you tune back in soon and we'll have a fish on the bank. Fingers crossed. So the second rod that's going out, which is going to go up the middle channel. I've got an old pot of some orange 12 mil pop-ups, which have been glugged up in the outrageous orange goo um i don't i don't know how those pictures coming across but these are bloody toxic orange but they're not actually as orange as they as they look on it on camera that makes sense but they are yeah really really sort of glugged up to be honest i just tried one in the edge and it's almost like a wafter but that's fine i'm quite happy to use the the ronnie rig as a, a wafter sort of rig anyway um so yeah, that's going to go out on the same mix, just stick that one out and then another one we're going to put on a white pop-up and we'll show you that one as well. So just to show you guys again, this is what I'm going with. So we've got the carbon bait CO2 mix in there, so we're putting some of that out. We're then covering that with some of the hydro nutty maple and then we're just crumbing up the last of the e-tang baits. maple boilie so yeah i'm just gonna put that in the bottom of the boat put the rig on top crumb some boilies over it and then pour some liquid over it happy days
Oh, good morning. So that was a very uneventful night. Nothing. Didn't hear nothing, didn't see nothing, haven't caught nothing. Nothing. Um, it's about half six now. Um, I'm not going to bother redoing the rods. Um, I was happy enough with where they um, they went out last night, so we're just going to leave them there. Uh, probably going to pack up. I'm going to start packing away now. Um, leave the rods in while I pack away. Bring them in last thing. So probably a couple of hours. Be away for about half eight, nine. Um, I'm actually booked on till twelve, but um, yeah, it's just. I don't know. I know you know you could say, oh, we might have one in the last hour or two, but considering I've had nothing so far, it's not really um, not really a great deal to sort of hold out for. But that's fishing, as they say. So this could be another blank. I say another. It would only be my second one on the trot because we didn't catch it, Paddock Lake. Um, but uh, as they say, it's. Fishing, not catching. Um, although I would like to be catching. Um, I'm hoping that the next little bit of footage you're going to see after this will be me holding a fish out on the bank. Um, let's see. I'm going to stop now. And then it'll either be me holding a fish on the bank, or it's going to be me in the van saying goodbye. Until next time. See you soon. I'm back. No fish footage. So unfortunately, um, that one drew to a blank. Um, it is what it is. On to the next one. So the next one will be end of May, which is like four weeks time. We're at the beginning of May now. Um, that would be Colebrook Fishery down near Columpton in Devon. Um, not fished this venue before. Big Leon's fished it a couple of times and he loves the place. He said it's pretty much one of his favourite fisheries as far as I'm aware. Um, so that'll be our next one. We're down there with a couple of pals of mine. Joy Sir, Rich, Chris Carpenter, I think he's booked on as well. And hopefully Jamie Popple's going to get booked on. I think there's 10, 10 swims there. Um, so yeah, if we can get five or six of them stitched up between us, then that's most of the lake. So looking forward to that one. Um, I'm going to head on home now, get my kit packed away, um, and then got the landscape gardener coming around to um, finish a bits in the garden. So um, I'll even put a bit of footage on that just to just to put a couple of minutes extra on this very short video. Um, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Um, appreciate it. And like I said before, if you don't follow me already or could you give me a sub, um, give this video a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, any um, criticism, yeah, fire them over. More than happy to sort of reply. Also, yeah, if you see me on the bank, just um, come over for a chat or whatever. It's always nice to speak to other anglers. Um, so, yeah. All right, I'm going to stop waffling now. Thanks for watching, guys.